Yes, let's testify and give glory to God. Who would like to go first and give their testimony? I'll go first, brother. <coughs> yeah, go ahead. <coughs> I thank the Lord for the week gone by, for all his blessings upon me and my family. Um, I thank the Lord for all his spiritual blessings, for his word, for his power, for his spirit, for his presence, for his anointing that is leading me day, every day. Um, brother, uh, last uh, Friday after uh, the teaching was over, as I was uh, writing the prayer, um, I felt a vibration in my body when uh, after finishing the prayer. There was, I, I could feel the uh, there was a um, great anointing and there, there was a shaking in my body uh, and I could feel it. And the next day when I was doing the way of the cross, uh, I was literally doing it in tears. So I really thank the Lord that uh, you know, especially when I was doing the 12th station, um, I couldn't uh, control my tears. I was uh, I was doing it in tears, the way of the cross. So it it was I, I haven't done it before like that, but it was really uh, from the heart. I was doing the way of the cross. It was from the heart. So I really thank the Lord, brother, for all the teachings. And uh, yesterday, when I was writing the notes, when I was writing the, when I was hearing the prayer again, uh, the Holy Spirit gave me Galatians 3, 13, 14. So it is a confirmation from the beginning uh, that uh, we are moving, uh, moving from the curses to the blessings. And to me, it was now, now when I claim Galatians 3, 14, uh, it has become flesh in me. So really thank the Lord. Thank you, brother, for all the teachings. All glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, sister, for your wonderful testimonies every week. Uh, we always want people to have a relationship with Christ, and that's the main reason uh, why our focus should be always Jesus through the word. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Sister Shane. Yes, anyone else would like to share that testimony? Hello, Brother Vivek. This is Rashmi. I like to yeah, praise yes, and thank the Lord for the gift of life, for all the blessings I have received, for all the miracles. I enjoy every moment of my life, only praising and thanking the Lord. Um, it was in the la in last week, uh, something happened and Raj just said it to me that, uh, you know, all the time you are in prayer is that. So like, uh, you know that I felt little the same because he wants me to do something else but I tell him when you want me to do you tell me you don't tell me what I am doing I will stop my job and I will I'm happy to do what you say and uh, then like we had a slight the thing and I said and you don't talk to me and I I, I said something which I hadn't to say but um, for that much time we did not speak and then he he at once he started oh he started talking to me and i i said sorry to jesus at that time that but you won't believe brother after that he said i will never come between you and your jesus i know i know you always like to pray you like to be on this group you like to do everything i'm very happy for you and in fact after that day in fact he's the first one to on the morning encounter for me I told him I'm not going to do anything. I'll just even if you don't, you say I the thing I will not, I will not touch the TV. I will not do anything which you will, you know, you are the thing. But you know, whatever I said, I felt very sorry after what I said because I'm I'm in the word and I shouldn't have said what I had said. But there's lots of change in him. He's 24 by 7, you know, trying to uh and he's hearing it and we are discussing the word of God. I just thank the Lord. I know every day there is one small thing which will happen. But, you know, that gives me so much of pleasure. So much I don't, I can live without food. He was really this thing because I keep a Friday fast. And I, I did it on Wednesday and he said, you, I said, no, nothing will happen to me. I can manage well. My Jesus is sufficient for me. So this is what I have learned from this group. I really thank the Lord that everything is fine. And Raj and I are in the word and lots more our children also. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you all for helping us grow. God bless. Thank you. Thank you, sister. Really lovely testimony. Thank you so much. May God always bless you. And same as you, sister Rashmi. We all are in Christ. That's why we are here. Many of us would have spent the same time with doing other things. 
but yet we choose to be blessed by God's word and blessed by our teaching. And someone even invites other people. So how beautiful it is when someone else joins. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, yes, anyone else would like to share that testimony and give glory to God. Yes, Vivek. It's been a while yes. that I have uh, regularly attending because of the time difference and I have also activities in our community. Um, for so long that we've been, I've been actually uh, uh, personally struggling. Uh, the family has been struggling with the financial crisis and uh, um, all the things that the eyes can see and we experience. But I thank you, Vivek, for God using you to bring his word and his promises in my heart. I I embrace that and I, I started to to pray in tongues longer. I started to de devote myself to the scripture and I find my peace. And yesterday God was talking to me when he said, uh, he is going to restore me. He is going Amen. to restore me. And I said, Lord, even if I cannot see it now in the physical, I know that in the spiritual, it's already done because you are the um, God who keeps your promise. It is you when you stamp your word, it will be done no matter what. So yes. I started to rejoice and I started to give thanks to him because a day will come and I will have to come back and say, it is done, it is finished with me. God has already shown his victory over my life. Thank you Amen. so Thank much. You. God bless you. Thank you, Lord. And, and I tell you, Marvik, I, in, in, in Jesus' name, I prophesy that everything will be restored with interest back to you, with the prophet. So you, this is the, this is. Amen. Amen. That is what he was telling my spirit yesterday. Amen. And keep thanking God. Thank Remember, a childlike faith is what yes, God loves. Yes. And he gave me the God word from Jeremiah last yesterday, Jeremiah 30, verse 17, that he will do it again for me. Amen. Thank you. For God bless. Thank you. Stay for the prayer meeting and listen to the word. Amen. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Who else would like to share that testimony? Brother, can I? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I want to thank the Lord for the gift of life for me and my family and for the blessings and favors God has showered on us. I would also like to thank God for my sister's report, which is normal, and there's no further treatment which is required for her. That's it, brother. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. It's good. Even a one-line testimony is a testimony. I, I prophesy in Jesus' name, in the day of your trouble, God will stand up for you because you stood up for his name. And this is something you can see for your own self in your own life. This is scriptural. I'm not speaking something just to prophesy. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, anyone else would like to testify and give glory to God. We've been on mobile uh, series yeah. to Papua New Guinea for about two weeks since, and things like that. And um, it's, and things so and, and uh, quite a few things um having sort of like turned out uh, our our way and how the way we please but I'd like to thank the Lord who is sovereign a sovereign God who is uh is with us and is always at these times too that if our faith is uh put to the test we just keep praying and to the Lord because I know he listens and puts things in the in its right places in the way in which you please because sometimes you know you don't know what's going to happen sometimes you don't know uh you just sometimes you don't have any idea what to say but i uh, thank the lord that we can commune with him in our time in our prayers when uh, when everything is feeling uncertain so that is a sister law loyal to our lord because he is there and he's going to come and give us uh the blood of Jesus and everything we do in the world to restoration in Jesus' name. I'd just like to thank the Lord for looking after us, the angels and 
administering spirits that he has given us. We have endured through the through the challenges, and now we're back home, ready to um, for redemption and restore and restoration. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Yes, anyone else would like to share the testimony? Yes, brother. All praise to our Lord Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Your blessings over us, all the powerful teachings, prayers, and miracles. Thank you, Jesus. And um, I'd like to share that I spoke to a believer this week who had been unwell and said that they believe they will be well in Jesus' name. And I reminded this person about Hebrews 11 on faith, especially verse 1. And in the New Jerusalem, it says, Only faith can guarantee the blessings that we hope for or prove the existence of realities that are unseen. And I then said that faith is in the past. And this person then asked if they were then not lying. And I said that the only one that they were lying to was Jesus, as he had already imparted all his blessings on us by his death and resurrection. And we need to acknowledge by our thanksgiving to Jesus that we have already received all his blessings and ask him to read Hebrews chapter 11, as well as Matthew 21, 18 to 22 on faith and prayer. So I'd like to say thank you, Holy Spirit, for this opportunity to reveal your truth to all and for all these powerful teachings. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. God bless you all. Thank you, brother. Thank you, sister. God bless you. Thank you. Yes, anyone else would like to share that testimony? May I? Yes, sister, go ahead. Testimony time, please. Everyone should testify. To God be the glory for the <clears throat> blessings and, and peace that he brought for us, uh, the family, for the unity, and for his love in the midst of everything. Um, during Lent, um, fasting and prayers, I also thank the Lord that I had to manage uh, by myself for some time, my family, because my husband was away. And uh, I thank the Lord for the strength and the peace that he brought uh, to handle everything. I also want to thank the Lord that um, during fasting, um, uh, I'm not supposed to uh, be weak. And yet uh, the, the devils tried to put me down. And I thank the Lord that I overcame by professing the word constantly and for the strength that he gave me to be stronger than ever before. And uh, I wanted to thank the Lord. I thank the Lord that I encounter God's love and mercy at workplace, wherever I go, and people that I encounter for the first time. And out of the blue, I would um, start a conversation and talk about God. And then um, I know it is not I, it is the Holy Spirit that um, be, becomes my mouthpiece. I am just uh, clay and he spoke through, used me to uh, reveal God's love for them. I thank the Lord for asking people if, they, if I could... Um, uh, introduce you to the group and I thank the Lord that um, most of them agree and I'm working on it and uh, either they hear or not uh, they are here today or not but um, somehow that uh, our work will not go in vain and I thank the Lord for all the answered prayers 
uh, because um, some of them are still uh, like lukewarm water uh, Christians and they need to uh, 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 get better from one step. They need to keep coming up in their life. And I wanted to thank the Lord that uh, at least um, some of them that usually don't uh, say no uh, agree to join the group. I I am extremely happy for that. And um, the whatever we do, whether our group is small or big, um, just like mustard seed, the the faith is rooted in the word and I thank the Lord for that and thank for all the testimonies and the time and the breath that I have today to speak and I worship the Lord and I thank the group for their strength that they are giving and it becomes the backbone for our life. God bless all of you, each one of you, and your faithfulness and um, and your timely manner, regardless of um, um, you, you, what goes on in your family, that um, you are faithful and you are uh, you are with us, and you never gave gave up, no matter what um, the the number of the group. And I praise you and thank God for the your strength. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I'll go next. I thank and praise God that I'm alive today. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for this wonderful prayer group that I'm part of. What a blessing it is that we are all together. Put an amen if you're blessed with to be part of this prayer group. Imagine you have a you and I, we have a prayer group that we can go to. If we are we have prayer requests, there's someone there kneeling down for us and praying for us. They don't know us, never seen us, they know nothing about us but we are so connected spiritually. Uh, all the sessions right from the morning encounters to the Holy Rosary. For the ones who attend Rosary, you will know how spirit-filled it is. So beautiful. Uh, amen to the people who are conducting the, the Rosary group. Such a blessing. And for all the people who participate and make, uh, you know, for the morning encounters, for the reflections, for, for Sister Shanine's powerful ministry of praise and worship. And uh, the morning encounters the Lord is teaching us something new every day. How many of us are blessed by the morning encounters? Life-changing. Uh, and it's so beautiful to start the day with the morning encounter and end the day with the Holy Rosary and have the reflections to remember. And remember, we can always uh, put our testimonies, even if you have a headache, put a testimony and say, Lord, and there's someone praying for you. This, this prayer group has blessed so many people to have prayer partners to make Jesus Christ the Lord and Savior of their life. Make him first in every area of our life. How many of us have made Jesus Christ first in our life? Above our spouses, above our jobs, above our everything, he is first. He comes first. He is first. Without him, we cannot operate. So he becomes the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. And immediately, if we do anything wrong, we stand up to repent and say, Lord, I'm sorry. If I've hurt anyone, I've hurt you, Lord. I first repent for the sins I have committed, Lord. And then I forgive every person just as you forgive me for the harm they have done to me. Because you choose to forgive me, I forgive them, Lord. And I tell you, there's such great power in forgiveness. When you forgive someone, you, that, that, or that burden that we are carrying, the mental burden just leaves us. Uh, thank and praise you, Lord, that we have such a powerful group and and we are all part of it. So uh, thank all the people who pray for me continuously. Our brother Russell, brother Savio, sister Janela, sister Shanin, and sister Jane, and all sister Daphne, and so many people who conduct the Holy Rosary. Everyone is blessed. There's no one in this group that is greater than the other, and that's the beauty. We are all same. We are all here to learn from each other. Because the Spirit of God speaks to each of us in a different way. And, and this week of fasting, I'm sure someone would have been blessed to give a testimony that we have started to fast every Wednesday for the whole year, not just during Lent. I will continue this forever and make us stronger that as a prayer group, we get more stronger when we give our time to the Lord. 
Thank you, Jesus. Yes, anyone else would like to share their testimony and give glory to God. Hallelujah, brother. Praise the Lord. I want to thank and praise the Lord Jesus for his faithfulness, for his gracious kindness, and for his loving mercy. Uh, this Sunday, uh, the Lord uh, was so kind and he came and he uh, wrapped, put his pressure all over me and there was so much joy and he was smiling. This gave me so much joy, so much joy. I thank the Lord for this consolation. Thank you, Jesus. And I thank the Lord for his perfect timing that mommy was admitted in the at perfect time and she was healed and recovered and she was restored within three days. Thank you, Lord, for this. Everything is so graciously monitored and uh, there is a lot of favor that is resting upon each one of us, not only my family, but each of this group the praying people. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, each one of you, my spiritual family. And uh, especially right now, I'm feeling like uh, how John says, I am the disciple whom Jesus loves. So it the same feeling I have right now about Jesus who loves me so much. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, sir. Uh... Anyone else or brother Rasul, can you make announcements and your testimony? Well, this is Sharon. Yeah, Sharon, go ahead. I would just like to thank the Lord for his mighty blessings and for a word he's putting in my mind right now, acceleration. He says that your your life will be an acceleration of blessings. Everything that was held up from you. Um all that the um the enemy has stolen, he will replace a hundredfold. Um, he promises through his word, and his word is the only thing that we can rely on. He's also saying that in a very soft, um, gentle nudge. And every morning at the morning encounter, I receive a different message. I receive oh, peace, I receive an assurance that. Um, he's looking after every one of us and we're all working. I can see this vision of us all working, um, you know, to build. We're building in his vineyard. And he says that um, the laborers are few. The harvest is plenty, but we are, we are all working towards building for him. And as we all go in our service each day, like we go and we um, attend to his work, um, he's giving us patience, he's giving us peace, even though there are trying times and people sometimes would get on our, um, probably on our nerves. Um, he tells us that we follow in peace because peace is all that we um, need to get through. And yeah, the, the message is just love and peace. And I thank him for everything. I only have one word to say and that is thank you, Lord. Thank you for everything. and for everything that you do in your presence in our heart through your Holy Spirit, who's my who's my only faithful prayer partner. And he's always there with us, my family, for all the blessings that he has put through the week gone by and the coming week as well. And I know he's blessing this entire prayer group, all our families, extended family members, and everyone that comes to the table. Thank you, Jesus, for everything. Thank you, brother. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. And Thank you. Sir. Thank you, Jesus. There are so many people who are blessed. I remember we are all disciples and we are called to invite other people. So let us all be here. Invite other people to the platform, to the WhatsApp group. It is so easy to invite others. Remember, some may come, some may stay, some may go. But all we can do is give that invitation out. There's a table of grace. The food is plenty. And the plates are unlimited. People can come and eat at this table. And this beautiful table where we all share a meal called the word of God. Where we eat that word. And that word becomes flesh in our hearts. Uh, yeah, Brother Russell, you can go ahead. If there's someone who'd like to testify, must, and I'm missing out on a testimony. After Brother Russell shares, we can still take one or two testimonies. And go ahead. But let Brother Russell finish his testimony and his announcements. Thank you. Thank you, brother. I'd like to thank God for 
the privilege to be part of this prayer group for a wonderful week that has gone by. It has been a really challenging week. We've had uh, extensive spiritual battles. Um, a lot of attacks, you've seen it during today's session as well. So this prayer group, when you see that kind of attacks happening on this prayer group, you know that we're heading in the right direction. There is someone that is getting unsettled and restless. But I thank God for the opportunity and the privilege that all of us could participate in that fast, a day of fasting and prayer on our own prayer points, as well as that corporately of the prayer group. And I'm sure there are breakthroughs that will come not only in our individual lives, but as, as a whole, when we're praying for all families that are lifted up, that are part of this prayer group, there's much more that each one should be seeing in their personal lives as well. So I'd like to thank the Lord in advance uh, in faith, releasing that faith for all that good that is to come there. And we continue to continue, continue to pray this way every week, week on week, where we will raise different prayer points uh, every time to the Lord. And we intensify that prayer as well during our days of fast, but not only on the day of fast, on other days as well. And uh, as we head into the Holy Week, I just like to thank God for the gift of Jesus and all that he did on the cross for us. It is only because of that finished gift that we are today. And that is what he really reminded me of during the week when all these battles were there. There were attacks uh, on me personally. So um, he just reminded me one thing. He said, remember who you are and what are you standing on? What really, and he said, that is what every Christian should remember. The identity that we have is in Jesus is because of our, our relationship with him and we stand on his finished works, which essentially is, and we'll cover that in our morning encounters as well next week. But the key one in there is he has defeated the devil. So there is nothing to fear. And he called us more than conquerors. Jesus was the conqueror who conquered. He went down to hell, defeated principalities and powers. And the Bible says we are wrestling against those principalities and powers. So what do we need to remember there? We have that that battle has already been won. And he says, you stand in the, the victorious outcome of that battle because he has given that credit, that glory to you. So you stand in that. If you do not stand in that revelation, the devil will always seek to rubbish your confidence and will keep attacking. Remember who you are. So I'd like to thank God for that. And thank God for his continuous grace on my life and, and that of this prayer, prayer group, our family. A very warm welcome to all those that are joining us for the first time, that are new to this prayer group. If you uh, have, not, have not yet joined the prayer group, I'll share links for you to join as I continue to speak. But I'll also share um, details on the different timing of prayer time sessions that we have so that you can be part of them depending on convenience. But if you can't attend, do not worry about it. You can always um, go to the recordings that are available on our channel. So I'll run you through all of those as well. We have morning encounters that are run every day of the week, seven days a week, 365 days a year at 7 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Brother Savio also posts his daily reflections, which you can use in your personal prayer. 365 days a year. We have Divine Mercy and the Rosary Chaplet that is recited Monday to uh, on weekdays. So Monday to Thursday is run at 7 p.m. in the evening. And on Friday is run at 3 p.m. in the afternoon because we have this Bible study session that is run every Friday evening from 6 p.m. onwards. Note the change in time. It used to be 5.30 earlier. Now it's 6 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time where we start praise and worship followed by confession of scriptures in testimony time. And then the teaching of the evening starts approximately around 7 p.m. or so. And all our recordings to these sessions are available on our YouTube channel, on our Spotify podcast page as well. And they are also posted to our social media channels. So you can follow them on whichever channel works for you. I'll also share a link to the I confess boldly scriptures so that you can use them in your personal prayer. You can customize them, see what is suited to your current situation and start confessing those scriptures until that starts to become real. That's really what we mean by meditating on the word of God. Confessing it every day, keep on saying it, keep on saying it. You build an altar around that and it becomes a revelation that you can trap in that situation. And... um. Next week being the Holy Week, 
a key announcement there is on Monday Thursday, that's Holy Thursday and Good Friday. We will not have the rosary in the evening. The rosary in Divine Mercy session will not be held on next Thursday and Friday. And this Friday Bible study session as well won't be held next Friday because it is Good Friday. So the, the next Bible study session after this will be held in the week after next. So first week of April. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Is there anyone else who would like to share a testimony before you start? Vivica, I'd just like to give glory and praise to the Lord just for the powerful teachings received, just the power of his word, for, for just going ahead of me this week and, and just all the little miracles, just for the air we breathe, the food we eat, the company that I was, I had my sister staying with me this week, which was an absolute miracle that the Lord organised. So, you know, he just goes ahead of us. He knows what's on our heart. And I'd like to give him all the glory. Amen. <laughs> 